how do we design a mod 10 app counter so here when we try to design a mod 10 or a decade app counter which is asynchronous there are different ways of designing them so here i'll try to design a mod 10 app counter using jk flip-flops now when we talk about a decade or a mod 10 counter the count basically starts from 0 0 0 0 up to 1 0 0 1 right so this is count 1 to count 10 and then from 1 0 0 1 it moves to 1 0 1 0 then I must come back to 0 so the counter should come back to 0 so for the next clock cycle when the state changes from 1 0 0 1 to the state 1 0 1 0 the state should come back to the initial state which is 0 0 0 0 so in order to design this using jk flip-flops let us first use a four variable k map and simplify and try to get the logic which has to be used to connect these four jk flip-flops now since you have four bits right so we need four flip-flops four jk flip-flops and the outputs have to be connected in such a way that the count has to move from 0 0 0 0 to 1 0 0 1 and then again come back to 0 0 0 0 so considering a four variable k map so the output of the flip-flops being q a q b q c and q d right so now where q a happens to be the lsb and qd happens to be the msb output now in this case i have one for all the first 10 outputs that is from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1001 so you have one and then again one here so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and for the states 10 to 15 the output has to be 0 so we have to simplify the four variable k map so it's very easy to simplify so combine all the eight ones so these eight ones have to be combined and when i combine them what is the output here qc gets eliminated because qc is in complementary so we have qd bar and here i have both qa and qb in complementary so it gets eliminated now these two ones can be combined with these two so consider row 1 and row 4 row 1 and row 4 qd is complementary so i have qc bar and then when i consider column 1 and column 2 I have QA which is in complementary so you get QB bar right so therefore the output so if I consider the output as Y the output is nothing but QD bar plus QC bar QB bar where QA QB QC QD are the outputs of the four JK flip-flops so now let me draw the four JK flip-flops which are required in order to design a mod 10 up counter so here let me consider four jk flip-flops so you have j a k a j b k b j c k c j d k d they are all the inputs of the four jk flip-flops and of course this the first flip-flop which represents the lsb output and j d flip-flop j a k a so this flip-flop represents the msp now all the four flip-flops are negatively edge triggered and all the inputs of the flip-flops are tied to logic one so they are all given to one right so whenever you have the negative edge of the clock pulse so you have the negative going edge of the clock pulse what happens the output toggles the output changes from one to zero or from zero to one all right so here the clock input is given to j a so the clock input is given to j a the first flip-flop and then in order to get a mod 10 or a decade counter what happens i need the output y which is equal to q d bar plus q c bar into q b bar so i have q d bar so this is q d bar 
and then I have QC bar and then QB bar. So QC bar and QB bar are given to an AND gate and then pass through an OR gate and this is output Y. Right? So this output Y will remain 1 for the states 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 0, 0, 1. And then for the next state, which happens to be 1, 0, 1, 0, what happens? This output will be 0. So therefore, I want all the flip-flops to come back to their initial state, which is 0, 0, 0, 0. That means they have to be cleared. So now let me consider the clear input. So CLR bar, that means if the input to this CLR bar is zero, what happens? The output of the flip-flop will be reset. It's going to be zero. So Y is connected to the inputs of all these four flip-flops. So it's, it's going to be connected to CLR bar, is going to be connected to clear. So this output Y has to be connected here. Okay, and then we of course take the outputs at QA, QB, QC and QD. Now how does this operate? It is an asynchronous counter. So therefore the output QA will become the clock input to the next flip-flop. The output QB will be the clock input to the next flip-flop and QC will be the clock input to the fourth flip-flop and then you have QD. So this is QD. QC, QB and QA, right? So you have the states 0, 0, 0, 0, which counts from the 0 state to 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is QA, QB, QC and QD. And after 1, 0, 0, 1, when the state changes from 1, 0, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 1, 0, what happens? Y becomes 0. So when Y is 0, so 0, is the input which is coming here to the clear input of all the four JK flip-flops. So therefore the output is reset. So QA becomes zero, QB becomes zero, QC and QD they become zero. So therefore it comes back to the initial state or the first state and the process of counting starts again from zero, 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 zero and it proceeds. So we find that the design of a mod 10 or a decade up counter which is asynchronous is very similar to a mod 16 up counter asynchronous it's very similar so here in this case we want the count to come back to zero so it has to be reset all the flow four flip flops have to be reset after 1001 so that's why we need an additional circuitry so you need a two input AND gate and an OR gate and the output Y is connected to the clear inputs of all the four flip flops so that we get a mod 10 up counter. Right, a very simple design. So I hope you have followed. So to view all the other videos in digital logic or logic design or digital electronics, click on the I button or go through the playlist digital electronics and do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of all the further uploads and thanks for watching.